Forgiveness is the foundation and strength of every human relationship. When you find true friends, either in business, ministry, career, or couples that have sustained their marriage, is because of sacrifice. And that sacrifice that sustains a marriage is in forgiveness. Is in fo That's where the sacrifice is. Two people who know how to forgive will keep their relationship for a long time. My wife once said that the secret of a happy marriage is two good forgivers. And that's what it is. Two good forgivers. People that can forgive each other. Learn to forgive. Forgiveness is an act. Learn to do it at home, in church, in your place of work. Don't marry somebody, no matter the thunderous tongues he speaks, who does not forgive people. Don't marry him. If he finds it difficult, to forgive people. After you marry him, you will find that those tongues are for public display. You know they talk and for house. That's why the tongues are dramatic. Because if it's a lifestyle, you can't be talking those tongues as a lifestyle. People speak in tongues as a lifestyle. Their tongues are normal tongues. Because you can speak it for a long time. But the time that somebody will start like this, brigada, 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 dumb, Dom, dom. <laughs> Why yo? <laughs> Don't ever forget there are no perfect friendships. Anywhere there are no perfect friendships. It is only forgiveness that makes the relationship perfect. You will need forgiveness with your kids. You will need forgiveness with your parents. You will need forgiveness with your brethren. You will need forgiveness with your husband or your wife. You will need forgiveness for your pastor and pastor. You will need forgiveness for your church members. And when you forgive, let it go like it never existed. E.W. Kenyon said, Agape does not go to divorce courts. Agape does not go to divorce courts. We can build great relationships with forgiveness. Glory to God. Glory to God. He are no bars. Huh? It's 30 days of glory 2020.